a single Wi-Fi router is no match for a larger home. You are bound to run into a dead zone sooner or later, and then all is lost, especially if you have kids. Step 1, with the router plugged into the power supply, hold the reset button located on the bottom of the router for 30 seconds. The default SSID will be DDWRT, and you'll need to set an admin username and password. Step 1, fast ahead to the wireless section and click the basic settings tab. Step 7, a hit save, but do not hit apply settings just yet. For example, if your primary router uses WPA2 personal with TKIP encryption, set things the same here and enter your key as you would if you were connecting from a PC or phone. Just be careful you aren't unintentionally activating a repeater mode instead, these router setting terms can be vague, so it's always important to study the details of your own router settings page.